Andrew Ng, a professor at Stanford, a former chief scientist at Baidu, an AI scientist, and a general partner at AI Fund, predicted that 2024 is the year of AI agent or agentic workflows. And in the recent weeks, we see his predictions playing out in front of us step by step. Begins with the release of the O1 model from OpenAI. The model that allows AI to reason and think by itself. But what does that mean for you? As someone who is not a programmer, I thought building AI agent is out of reach for me. That was until I discovered the program that we'll be talking about in this video, a program founded by the co-founder of HubSpot, Darmesh Sa. Today, I'll share with you my hands-on experience with agent.ai and how it makes AI agent available for everyday users like you and me. We'll talk about the setup how you sign up, what the user interface looks like, what to expect, what you can do, and what's to come. With that being said, let's get to the video. So what is AI Agent? AI Agent is a computer program that uses AI to perform tasks, make decisions on behalf of the user. This is different than our programs like Make.com, Zapier, R RPA, Robotic Processing Automations. These programs follow a predefined setup rules and workflow that you assign to it. Let's say you want to automate posting on social media. You would have to set up the input. What has to happen at step one to get the output for step two, then step three. It's sort of like the IFTTT concept, which is if this, then that. If this happened, then you do that. Agents are a little bit different. Agents can handle complex tasks, require reasoning, and it can handle end-to-end -end automations. This is including tasks that traditionally require human judgment or human involvement. With that, let's go over to my computer screen and show you what agent.ai looks like. The first thing you will see when you get to agent.ai is that you have the option to sign up for free. When you sign up for an account, you have about 100 credits to play with. 100 credits equal to 100 tasks. Essentially, Darmesh is paying for you to try out his new platform. Now let's take a look at the available agents that you can play with. Without even signing into the account, you can see some of the agents that were built and you can see how many executions has been completed by each of the agents. For example, this one, Company Research Agent. This is created by Darmesh. In fact, these top three featured agents were all created by Darmesh himself. Company Research Agent, the Flux Image Generator, the meme maker, these are the top three in the agent.ai network. Next, you will see the agent marketplace because we are now still in the trial period. A lot of these agents are created by Darmesh and his team at agent.ai. But I can imagine a future when this is available to the mass, we can actually create our own agents and list them on the agent marketplace. You notice that it says hire. When you hire an agent, you can pay that agent to do tests with credits. But perhaps in the future, if I listed my agent here and you want to use it, maybe I can charge you $2 a month to use this agent because the agent is using my IP, my prompt to perform different tests for you. I'm pretty excited for, for this. So let's take a look at what's available in this marketplace right now. You have the competitor analysis. You have the web page copy editor, search keyword research, ideogram image generators, tech stack looked up, earnings call analyzer, second brain, prospect extractor, etc. Let me go ahead and sign into my account and show you what it looks like from the inside. Now that I have signed into the account, see now I can search from the 44 agents that are available. Uh, I can filter by tag whether agents that are working in the operation of your business, customer service, marketing. The guy is a co-founder at HubSpot. Of course, he's going to have agents that use information from HubSpot to help you perform tasks within your business. 
and then sales. Let's take a look at sales and see what's available. Once I hit on sales, I can see that the agents that are available are website domain valuations. Tells you how much your website is worth. Company research agent. Perhaps you're in B2B sales and you need to know about your prospect's company that you will be talking to. Well, here you can just hire the agent to help you perform the research without you having to go on Google or LinkedIn to read all about them. We also have competitor analysis, prospects extractors, web page copy editor, web design grader, customer persona builders. I'm not familiar with some of the other builders like Salil Sethi or Andre Oprisan, but what you can do is click on the link and read about them. This will bring up Andre's profile. This is directly from his Twitter. So let's take a look. Andre is engineering lead at agent.ai, machine learning, AI. Looks like he went to Columbia and MIT. So he knows what he's doing. That makes me feel much better about using one of the agents that Andre has built. All right, let's go back to the agent page and see if we can find something else interesting. One of my most favorite agents to use is this earning calls analyzer. I've tried to build something like this in the past with custom GPT, but it wasn't that good. It was pulling information available online. This one here actually analyze the earning calls for you. What I'm going to do now is I will hire the earning call analyzer agent to help me analyze the earning calls of KB Homes. They just had their earning calls on September 24th, so just days ago. After you clicked on hire, you will see this page where you will put in the stock ticker and hit continue. And what I wanted to point out to you first is this. You can click on view profile and you can hit follows. Well, why do you want to hit follows? Right now, we only have about 44 agents. Eventually, we will have a lot more. So if this is one of the agents that you want to use over and over again, if you build an agent and you want to have your own agent collaborate with earning call analyzer during one of the steps, you can do so. That's why you want to follow if this is one of the agents that you think you will use over and over again. Now I can hit on view profile and what you will see is you have all these followers of this agent. These are people who also save this agent in their dashboard. You can also see that this agent has a 4.75 star review out of 16 reviews. So now I'm back at the earning call analyzer page. I'm going to go ahead and have it analyze KB homes. All right. After I hit continue, it says the earning reports quarter, right? So right now the latest is Q3 of 2024. The common questions. I can select a questions that I want to ask the agent to include in the output. And here I have, give me the highlights of the call, three main business challenges. Were there any products announcement? Give me any numbers or metrics cited in the call. Now, being a real estate investor, I want to know what were the business challenges that KB Home had. So I'm going to say, give me the three main business challenges. So basically, it's a template to get your brain going. You can type other questions in here. I can put in what market did KB Home make the most amount money what market did kb home face the hardest challenges uh hardest challenges okay so these are the three questions that i that i have now it's thinking about answering so after i hit go it took a few seconds for the agent to go to work and now it's done i have the output to read through let's see kb home earnings report summary business challenges interest rate sensitivity resale inventory, cost management. These are the answers to my questions. The most profitable market, West Coast region, driven by a mixed shift in homes delivered toward this high price area. Most challenging market, central regions, particularly Texas and Florida, where increased resale inventory and competitive pressures require strategic pricing adjustments. That was pretty darn fast. I don't have to sit and listen to the entire call. I can ask my agent to comb through the recording for me and just give me the answers that I want to know. And then at the end of it, you can give it a star rating. I'm going to give it a five star and hit save. 
So what else can I do with this? Go to action. You can copy the output. You can save it to a snippet. You can share. And it looks like in the future, you can save to Google Drive. Once this option is enabled, right now it's graded out. And another thing is I can play audio. Okay, so that was the first agent in action. Let me go back to the agent network and show you another one that I really like. Now that we're back at the agent dashboard, I want to hire the company research agent. So here you can put in a, the domain of the company or just the name of the company. For this example, I'm going to say we're dealing with someone from NVIDIA and I want to research this company. So I'll go ahead and put in the company's domain, NVIDIA.com and hit go. Okay, now you can see the bar is loading. Wow, that was fast. Okay, table of content. Let's see what we have here. NVIDIA, the AI computing pioneer, invents GPU driving AI gaming, autonomous vehicle, etc. Okay. Sector, information technology, industry, numbers of employee, founding year, market cap, LinkedIn, stock ticker. Okay, now I can ask questions. Let's see. Research questions. Do they have a sales team? Who's the head of sales? Yes, NVIDIA sells a subscription product called GeForce Now, which is a cloud-based game streaming service offering various membership plans, including free, priority, so on and so forth. Here's a table of content. You can jump directly to the area that you want to read. Uh, perhaps I want to know about web traffic. Let me go there. It peaked at the end of 2023. Maybe now I'm dealing with their C-suites and I want to know about their challenges before I meet with them. Well, here I can read about it immediately. Then as you go on, you can see the paid keyword, organic keyword, the PPC traffic. I mean, it took me seconds to pull up this report. If you were to do this yourself, this would have taken you a few hours. And certainly you cannot do this with custom GPT or even cloud projects. They will be able to come up with parts of this, but not the entire report all in one shot. Now let's talk about the builder network. I mentioned earlier, you can view profile of different people who are building these agents. So who are they? For now, there are 97 people who are able to build these agents. Damesh has said publicly that he is approving people daily to join this network of agent builders. So here, once you click onto the builders network, you'll see their profile. You have Damesh here, this co-founder, CTO of HubSpot. Then you have Kieran, the co-host of the Marketing Against the Grain podcast. And he's also the CMO of Zapier. Andre, we talked about before. If you see anyone who is in your field, feel free to follow them. Maybe when they have a new agent, you get a notification and you'll be able to hire their agents. Now let's get to the fun part, which is the agent builders. When you click on agent builder, you will see that it says agent builder is currently in private beta. So you can be on wait list. I'm going to click yes. Now my request is in. Now, because I don't have access to the agent builder yet, so I cannot show to you. However, at a recent event with HubSpot called Inbound 2024, that managed to showcase the back end of the agent builder. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. I predict that many of you will be building agents this year and not just the introverted developers like me. Anyone can build an AI agent. You heard him there. Anyone can build an agent, not just coders, not just computer programmers. You can build an agent. You can build an agent. You can build an agent. Yes. By the way, if you know, I could have my like Steve Ballmer chant right now. It's like agent builder, agent builder, agent builder. Um, but I do not have the dancing skills of my friend Brian. Uh, so we'll just enjoy him for a few seconds. This is him on the inbound stage years ago. Hi, Brian. Uh, by the way, thankfully, Brian does not drive a hard bargain in terms of using his image uh, in my presentation, which is I'm grateful for. So announcing Agent Builder, which lets you build agents. Why should I have all the fun? So let me show you how easy it is. So here's the agent builder for the agent I just showed you, the customer briefing agent. 
So it goes through five steps. It says, okay, go talk to the HubSpot CRM and figure out which account has been assigned to me. Now go do the research agent, collect all of that information. Now go pass all of that context to a large language model, generate an executive briefing, and then generate the audio file so I can listen to it on my iPod or my music player. And that's it, it's drag and drop. Now I'll give you a sense of, if we click on the plus button, there are other actions we could add. Let's say we wanted to add another step to this and we have access to all sorts of data inside the HubSpot CRM, we can build UI, we can do all sorts of things. It's awesome. So the coolest part about Agent Builder has access to all the frontier models. So it has access to GPT, to Claude, it has access to all the image generation models, Dolly 3, Flux.1, Ideogram, Playground, name it. It has access to all the HubSpot CRM, has access to be able to create blog posts, create web pages, has Google, has YouTube, Twitter, everything. You can mix it all up and build an agent with drag and drop in the same way you build workflows in a marketing automation product like HubSpot. Now normally for labs projects like this, if I get a few hundred users before the launch date, I'm happy. That gives me feedback, gives me signal. If I get a few thousand users before launch date, I'm like, this kid's got potential. This one's gonna grow up and be something special. And I am thrilled to announce Agent.ai already has 47,000 users. They grow up so quickly. This makes it the second most successful innovation project we've done at HubSpot. The first one being HubSpot CRM. All right, and what's equally exciting is we have 1,700 people signed up for the wait list for the agent builder. And I'm approving people literally every night. So I'll be doing that in the hotel room later tonight. So sign up, it's fun. All right, and remember, you don't have to be a coder to be an agent builder. You just have to be curious. All it takes is a few easy clicks. That's it for today's tour of agent.ai. I hope you saw the incredible power of AI power workflow from analyzing earning calls to researching companies and competitors to building custom agent workflows. All of these will change the way we work. Damesh's vision is clear. He enable anyone and everyone to use AI agents without knowing how to code. Now it's your turn to try out agent.ai for yourself and for your business. Click on the link below in the description to sign up for agent.ai with some extra credits. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like the video. If you really like this video, there is a new feature that YouTube is rolling out to everyone that is called Hype to help out small channels like mine. I would appreciate it if you hit that Hype button as well. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.